So we're in the car right now, and it's true. We can't keep her anymore. Blossom has to go. Yep. Because she's getting adopted. She has a new mom. We're headed there now. We're on a road trip with, with Blossom. I'm, I'm so excited. I love you. You're a good girl. I will say the cool thing about the journey is just how many of you have been a part of this from all the way from naming her, mm -hmm. like we didn't even name her, you guys did, to the millions of people that have seen her story. I mean, uh, just my YouTube videos to the Dodo featuring Blossom story. I mean, the Dodo video has over a couple million views. Yeah. Just telling Blossom's story. You came into my life like a sweet embrace, swept me off my feet and made me whole again. You guys have just been such a part of this and so encouraging of Blossom, you know, on her way from her hoarding situation, her being a rescue dog, a homeless dog, and then moving into the foster program with us through the dog rescue, Marley's Mutts, and now to this stage where she's gonna get to go into a loving home. You came into my life like a sweet embrace, swept me off my feet, and made me whole again. But I, I know some of you probably have some concerns of, well, is that going to set her back? And uh, and you know, should she just stay with you guys because she trusts you guys? But we're we're going to talk about all that. So, some of you guys even left, left some pretty strong, some might say nasty comments on how strong you felt about her staying with us. But more than anything, we're just going to have fun on this this journey with her. Okay, here we go. Kelly just got out to throw the bagels away, so let's do the old. Uh, Leaving you trick. <laughs> oh, never gets old. Blossom, she's gonna come out and we're gonna be gone. Let's do it. <laughs> so funny. Did you think we left you? I know. Blossom was super nervous about well, it. She, yeah, because she knows better. <laughs> well, I thought I knew what life was all about. That song had already been sung. I was going on. Still minding my own business, never knew the life had just begun. Okay, we are in Pixley, California right now. I, don't, I just, I need to pull over somewhere because I have an idea. Uh, it's Blossom's adoption ride, and so I got these uh, I got these chalk markers, and I thought we would we would draw on the car windows. I think it's worth doing that, pulling over, taking a minute, and kicking this adoption party up a notch. I think we we do like a big adopt or blossom right there, and then maybe like adoption ride over there, something like that. What do you think, art director? I think we got to do a blossom's adoption ride. The whole thing, because we want everyone behind us to know. Okay. Well, that's really smart. Right? <laughs> okay, let's do it. Wow, dude, that is really good, just freehanded. Now roll. You do this for a living? Yeah, call me. I make signs for dogs. <laughs> you want to color, and I'll go take Blossom for a quick walk? Sure. Okay, Miss Blossom and I here are gonna go for a walk while Kelly finishes up the decorations. But I also wanna take a moment and just talk to you about fostering. You know, I was blown away by the amount of comments from everyone that said, you know, you should keep her. And one, that's really neat, thank you, because you can see the connection here that, that we have and it's really awesome. Uh, but some of them were really aggressive. Like I even got direct messages, people saying, you know, if you don't keep her, you're a horrible person. Things like it's cruel and she would have been better off just left in the 
shelter, which absolutely not. That is 100% incorrect. And, and I'll be honest, it, it really got to me. It really upset me. You know, I worked with a lot of dogs and got them into a lot of loving homes, but with Blossom, everyone just seemed to have a connection or they saw our connection. And, and so when I really took time and I thought about it, what I figured out is we just, we haven't talked about fostering enough and what fostering is and how it works and why it's so important and how it can make such a big difference. So if you sent me direct messages, it's okay, thank you. Like this is, this is great, it's a good conversation starter. And if you feel passionate about me keeping her, that feeling is okay too, I'm going to miss her. Uh, but let me tell you why fostering is so great. Uh, first, let's, let's hit up this walk, come on. loves exploring like when she was locked up in the hoarding case she didn't have the opportunity to go out and explore so she just really loves it so let me tell you exactly what fostering is look at the difference in her after she walks she's relaxed she she has a happy face on I just, I love it. I love what a walk can do for a dog. Oh, you tired already? Road trip making you tired? Okay, let's talk about exactly what fostering is. And let's use Marley's Mutt as an example. It's perfect because that's uh, who I'm fostering Blossom through. Now, Marley's Mutts is based in Southern California and they're an awesome rescue, but they don't have a big enough facility and the cost that would go into that and all of the, the care and maintenance and, and everything that goes into that, uh, they just couldn't take all of the dogs that they could take without their foster network. And what's great about a foster network is it's a bunch of individuals that raise their hand and say, you know what, I want to help a dog. They take a dog like Blossom, for example, how I took Blossom into my home and she comes to live with me until she's ready to go into her new home. And, and there's a couple reasons that's so important. One, like we talked about, uh, the shelter just can't take on that many animals, so it really helps them. Two, it helps the dog, like Blossom or, or Cat, learn what a home is, right? There, there's potty training, there's food, there's love, boundaries are usually set, and so then they're more likely to, to stay in an adopted home when they get there because foster parent has already worked with them. I could probably sit here for hours and, and talk more about it. I will tell you, just imagine if every person foster a dog. It would make a big impact, if not eliminate, dogs being put down, which is which is just completely unnecessary, a problem we have created and we can all solve together. It's, it's one reason you are watching this channel and so many of you have subscribed because you believe in this. By the way, if you haven't subscribed, uh, you should subscribe right now if you think this face is cute. And I'm pointing to Blossom's face, not <laughs> this face. Look at that. If you don't subscribe to that, <laughs> You are a mean person. Oh, and click that notification bell too so that YouTube tells you when a new video is up, uh, like Blossom right here, because her journey has been really awesome. She's got a full series of videos. You should check it out. Now, to the people sending me direct messages that are really aggressive, uh, that I'm a horrible person if I don't keep her. I understand where you're coming from. Every time I work with a dog and that dog goes into a loving home, my heart is broken and, and there are tears shed, but I'm not doing it for me. I don't, a lot of people say, well, I couldn't foster because of the heartbreak of when the dog has to, has to go. But you, that's not what you foster. You don't foster for you. you. You foster to save a life like this, right? She now is, her life is saved and she's going to have a complete and a whole life in her new home with her new mom, which is so awesome. And trust me, it would be so easy for me to keep her. Oh, I would love it. She's, she is one of the sweetest dogs I have ever met. But I can't, because I need to work with more dogs who need help like Blossom does. Now some of you said, well, she's gonna completely regress and all the work you've done is going to go away. It won't. What we've done with Blossom is we've taught her that she can trust humans and now she knows how to trust. Will she likely take a step back? Yeah, you, you, and taking a step back isn't even the right word. Will she likely have some concern in her new home and not feel comfortable immediately? Yeah, yeah, and that, I think that's perfectly normal. I think that's perfectly normal for even, you know, children or humans, right? You're a little apprehensive at first and then you warm up and you get to know your surroundings and you get to know the person and, 
uh, that's that's what Blossom's going to go through. But she's made so much progress. She's still going to wag her tail. She still knows how to eat out of a dog bowl now and drink out of a water bowl. She's potty trained. All of these things she never had before. Okay, here's what I want you to do. I want you to leave a comment down below for Blossom. She's about to meet her forever mom. And so um, leave a comment and then I will make sure that her new mom reads all of those comments to her in her new home. So, all right, let's go check out your whip, Blossom. Let's do this. Look, look how good she is at walking. Such a good girl, Blossom. Yeah, who's happy? Who's happy? What's up? The sign's ready. Okay, let's check it out. How do you feel about the sign? Um, well, just out of pure excitement for Blossom's head. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, we're getting close. We've got like, um, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes until we meet her mom. Let's do this. Like the sweet embrace swept me off my feet and made me whole again